Kenny Vault from Texas is a friend of the Realtree teams and he's a regular hunter up at Northway in Saskatchewan. Kenny knows that every little bit helps. And here we have Kenny putting out some Tank 69 scent bombs. And on the first day, Kenny encountered several really, really good whitetails. But the first day for a hunter like Kenny, it's hard to pull the trigger. You just don't want to cut your hunt short, and you never know when that Boone and Crockett buck may step out of the thicket. Finally, on the second day of the hunt, a buck comes out that Kenny just can't turn down. He's a great looking deer. A lot of mass, a lot of points, just what you're looking for in Canada buck. He's down, he's down. All right, got him. There's that hill he came off down through there. We hung this Tink 69 scent bomb up yesterday. Hung one here, one on the other side, right under a scrape. And they were traveling right through here and he, he did just what we thought. He come right by here where the scrape is. This, this is a excellent buck. They've got a, got a lot of mass, a lot of nice tine length. Just a heck of a nice deer. It's the last day of September. We on and off having a little bit of snow flurry. Been seeing a lot of deer in this den. Got an old deer named Woody here. Michael saw him about two weeks ago. Let's go see if we can take a look. Within no time, Eddie starts to see deer movement. Including this really nice eight point buck that's right on the edge of bow range. But suddenly something bigger catches Eddie's attention.
bad shot. A little green limb I tried to pull over this way. I think I just, I think I was just so nervous. Man, that was a good deer. Man, he was so big and heavy. We're gonna probably, I think I'm gonna get him all night and I'm gonna come in in the morning and see if I can't find him. Keep my fingers crossed. Good Lord's willing, maybe we'll find that deer. The following morning, Greg Miller, myself, and Eddie returned to the area with high hopes of finding Eddie's giant buck. Eddie? I think we need to just do a little. Yeah, I'll, I'll take I'll take this one. He's not bleeding much at all. No, he's not. Well, that angle, the way it was in there, I don't I don't know if he got an exit wound. So I doubt he did. But we'll just see. What we'll take it real slow out there. Yeah. Eddie, you got anything over there, man? I don't know which way he went. I think I think I might have something over here, Eddie. Why don't you come over here, Eddie? Help, I think. Well, here's a stick right here. Yeah, right here. We got a little sign over here, Eddie. Just a little bit. We got a little sign right over here. Where's your sign at? It's right in here somewhere. Yeah. Hey, we'd like to come down this trail. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right. Great deer, Eddie. <laughs> All right, man. I told man. you we see You made me believe in you. Hey, this had come through, didn't it? <laughs> That's right. Hey, I got it. Like me. Oh, let's look at it. Hey, I got a confession to y'all guys. <laughs> oh, man. Michael. That's a Woody. That's, like, That's oh, easy, God. buddy. Oh, Woody. Uh, Rick, here, Eddie. Oh, man. Hey, guys. I had a miserable night now. Man. I dreamed about deer all night. But you did. <laughs> you. But I got to confess to y'all. Uh, the first afternoon we were in here, Greg Slows got uh, got uh, left at the airport, and uh, we had to, me and Michael had to divide up, and uh, Michael let him wear his hat, and I give him my outfit. And Greg, you know, he, he finally got his clothes back in, and he give them back to me, and I washed them up and put all that good sun away on them and I stuck them in my bag but I said you know I'm gonna wear them this afternoon because I'm a believer in faith you know I feel oh, like me too. but I shot, I shot a buck in them that's oh right. I know it you yeah. shot a great buck your in clothes. and uh, you know Steve. this hat I believe I'm gonna keep it I don't know now no I think I, maybe we're gonna split that oh we're gonna Michael's gonna end up well, losing I, I that got, hat I gotta wear it I gotta wear it tonight though yeah. I gotta hunt yeah, tonight we'll let so you wear it if tonight, that's tonight. the lucky hat I want something hey I guarantee you guys it, what a hunt I don't think you're ever Talking about kill something going down tonight. Right there. Me or him? Something's going down. Something's going down. Something's going to touch the dust. Yes, tonight. it is. Yes, it is. We've really been looking forward to this all year long. Been here at the Pro's Ranch. We're going after. Boy. Yeah. Our, our three year deer. And they're I'm so gonna, scared of you, they're not even coming close to you. No, that this is true, because they got me on the old other side of the ranch, so I won't get over there to see him. They've never had a deer over there. See, that'd be I interesting. Know. You could kill the first one. You know, I'm after a, a sure enough management dove. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so we're we're going after management does, and we're going after trophies. And we're out of here. It's shooting. Boy, I tell you, it's always a hoot with Jeff Foxworthy in camp and. To say that we've rekindled Jeff's deer hunting desires is an understatement. There's two does way down the Sendero there. Well, it's afternoon. We've hunted here for about a day and a half and uh, seen some real good deer, but I've got my heart set on one deer here the first time I ever hunted at the Burlitz Ranch. Uh, 
The first buck I ever saw was this uh, great looking 10 board, but you could tell he was real inventory of him. He's kind of skinny, he was like a teenager. And uh, Jimmy and Stuart Burlitz are, are real strict. They want to wait till their bucks get mature, you know, five and a half years old or older. And uh, so uh, all we could do was look at him. And then uh, when we were hunting out here last year, we, we caught a, a glimpse of him again, but they thought he might be four and a half. And they said, you know, why don't you wait a year? And I begrudgingly agreed to. And so uh, we're back out here looking for him. I, I passed up some, some nice bucks this morning, but man, I've got my heart set on this deer. Uh, he's just a, a classic looking white tail, just a beautiful 10 pointer. And so I'm holding out for now. And folks, this is not as easy as it seems. These deer just don't hang around for three or four years waiting to come back. But in Jeff's case, he was so fortunate to encounter this particular buck, the one he's after, for three straight years. What an incredible experience. There's a deer back there in the back. Oh my goodness, look at this deer. Oh, oh man. Never in my life did I think I'd be able to take a deer like that. Look at this deer. Oh my goodness. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable.
unbelievable. You know what? That's where patience pays off. We saw this deer when he was three and a half, and he was rack buck, but he was a small rack buck, so pretty. And then we got a glimpse of him when he was four and a half, and he was better. And and now, fully mature whitetail, five and a half years old. That is an awesome trophy. That is the deer of a lifetime right there. Man, thank you, God. Look at that deer. Awesome. We joined Ray Ferrier Jr. from New York. Now, the previous year, I met Ray's dad in camp at Northway Outfitters. He took a really great buck. So Ray Jr.'s back to try to beat the old man on a big buck. Well, you can't mail some footage on a deer like that. Good shooting, Ray Jr. Good heavens. Look at that buck. What a buck. That there's a buck of a lifetime. What a morning. First morning here at Northway Up. Cold one, but it was well worth it. That's something you dream about. See, I'll be all smiles today. Well, we're here at the Color Ranch, and the rut is kicking big time. We got a finger woods that we're planning on hunting. It's actually it serves almost just like a funnel. We got a big, thick. Uh, broom sage field and big broom sage fields on both sides of this finger woods and these these fields are real similar to crp fields if you're familiar with hunting the midwest this finger is torn up with scrapes and rubs we got some blinds down here and uh, we're gonna go down here and put a little tink 69 gel out and because uh, where the wind's blowing i think it can help us if any deer out in this field he could be able to smell the scent but yet where i think most of the deer are bedding they're not they shouldn't be able to smell me so uh we're going to go down here and see what's going to happen. Pull on. That's one neat thing about this gel. It sticks to wherever you're trying to put it. It's not messy. It don't get everywhere. I'm just going to pull it on. Pull it out right there. Oh, it's stout. But that's what it takes to lure them bucks on in here. This is an awesome spot. You can kind of see what I'm talking about from up high about this funnel area a little better. I mean, it is a beautiful, beautiful spot in here. Big old pretty woods. Big book heaven right here. Well, we've uh, 
We've been on the blind now about three hours, and uh, we have seen a grand total of deer that equal zero. It's been really hot lately, but it's easy to get discouraged out here on the stand, but I tell you what, I know these bucks have got to be cruising. They only get one time a year to breed, and it is tore up with sign like you wouldn't believe down through here, and so we're going to keep setting up here and see what happens. <laughs> Man. Ooh. My heart is pounding out of my chest. I'm shaking like a leaf. He coming in. I'll tell you what, this muzzle loader, baby. Muzzle loader. Go ahead and reload this dude. I don't think I'm gonna need another shot. I can see him laying right there. He didn't go 30 yards. And it is a big buck. Let's go in and take a look at him. He was standing right there, and now he's laying right there. You know, I, t I brought this muzzleloader out. These bucks are rutting and running. And so I decided to hunt with this night muzzleloader, this disc rifle. And man, you can shoot out some good ranges with this, with this rifle. But I got me a 30 yard shot and I take it. Look at the horns on this dude. Good night. Ah. Folks, this is an awesome, awesome buck right here. Look at the beams, how they turn down. I've never, I've never had a chance to hunt a deer and get a buck like with the beams that turn down like this. That is unbelievable. He's got character points all off these bases here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 points. 
And if I was back home in Georgia talking with my buddies and counting them up, I might even add a few more there. But that's just a stud right here now. Checking for does, man. Cruising this, cruising this area. We're kind of in a funnel area in between two thick broom sage fields. These does are just working in and out. And uh, we're just worried that some of the mature deer might already be with some of the does. But luckily, this big old boy was cruising. He ain't found him a girlfriend. And from the looks of things, he ain't gonna find him one because uh, instead, he's going back home with me because we found him before he found a girlfriend. He's going back home with me and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show him off. That is a stud of a buck. Cullen Ranch deer, unbelievable.